is Catholicism the truth? No, it is not. And I can say that definitively for a number of important reasons. First of all, we need to look at the idea of priesthood. The Bible tells us that anyone who's a believer in Christ is part of a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of God's own possession. And our mediator is Jesus Christ, not some human priest. So we need to recognize that, that we have incredible access. We can come to God boldly with confidence because of all that Jesus Christ has done as our mediator. Secondly, I would draw your attention to the Catholic treatment of Mary. Even though there's very little said about the mother of Jesus, there seems to be uh, an undue level of veneration for Mary within Catholicism. Some people pray to Mary. Some people even worship Mary in one way or another. Thirdly, I would just say look at the Lord's Supper and what they believe is happening there. There's something they call transubstantiation. And that is the idea that the body and blood, that that's literally being consumed at the supper. That the bread and wine become that in your physical body. And that forgiveness is being achieved through that sacrament. Therefore, if you don't participate in it, you don't have the forgiveness of sins. And if you don't do it often enough, then you're not forgiven and cleansed by God. And that's why they also teach that it's really important that you take care of that near the end of your life before you meet your maker. Otherwise, you'll have a lot of unforgiven and uncleansed sins to deal with. Lastly, I would just point you to the idea of sainthood. What is it that makes a person a saint? Well, the New Testament is really clear on that. It says that if we're in Christ, we are saints, we are holy ones. Whether it's Paul or Peter or any other apostle, you see them in various places in their letters referring to the church as saints, to the saints at Rome, to the saints at Ephesus. You get the idea. If you're in Christ, then you're a set-apart one. That's the definition of what it means to be a saint. No miracles or incredible feats are required. The only incredible truth that we need to realize is that we are in Jesus Christ. And because of the free gift of God's grace, we are forgiven forever. And we are made holy, we are made into saints forever, no matter what, because of the love and forgiveness and kindness of our God.